All right, uh, let's look at the homework uh, nine, problem number eight. All right, so you have a function from uh, A to B, and the C and D are subsets of A, and prove that uh, if F is one to one, then F of C intercept, uh, inter uh, intersect D is equal to F of C intersect F of D, All right? So since we're talking about the equality of two sets, uh, we're going to have to uh, do a couple things. Uh, let's do a element chasing, and we're going to do a mutual containment. All right, so here's the proof. All right, so first thing I would do is uh, try to show. So one, we need to show that uh, f of c intersect d is contained in, is a subset of uh, f of c intersect f of d. Right? So that's the first thing we need to show. And the second, we have to do the other containment. So I'm going to say number two, uh, we need to show that uh, f of c intersect f of d all right is equal uh, is contained in uh, f of c intersect d all right so there are two parts all right say so at the end uh, you can just say by uh, number one and number two, because that the they will uh, establish the mutual containment. We know that the two sets are equal to each other, identical. So C intersect D uh, is equal to F of C intersect F of D. All right. So we have that. So. All right, so uh, let's do uh, the first part. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with, uh, let's say, I'm going to start with uh, choose. I'm going to do element chasing. So choose any B in this set, F of C intersect D. All right. So by definition, so if B is in this set, that there's got to be some corresponding element. So this means that, that there must be a corresponding element A in a C intersect D such that uh, F of A is going to be equal to B, right? All right, then we know that uh, here, so there are two things we can say. So since A is in the intersection, so we have uh, A must be in C, and uh, B, uh, A must be in D at the same time, All right? But uh, if you apply F to that, then we know that the F of A must be in F of uh, set C, right? And the same thing, F of A is going to be in F of uh, set D, right? So therefore, uh, F of A is same as B, so therefore we know that uh, uh, F of A, oh, actually maybe I'll write it this way, how about this? Uh, I'm going to write B which is the same thing as f of a is in the intersection of f of c and f of d because uh, b belongs to both at the same time. All right. So therefore, uh, we could establish the containment because uh, we chase the b into the other set. So you have uh, f of c intersect d is a subset of f of c intersect the f of d, right? So we uh, to establish this side, uh, we didn't even know the uh, we didn't didn't even have to use the fact that the f is one to one, right? 
But on the other side, uh, we might need to use the uh, one to oneness of the function. All right, so let's look at that. Uh, same way. So we're going to have to choose uh, B from the uh, F of C intersect F of D. All right. So which means that, uh, so there's, there must be, uh, so we have two things going. So since uh, B is in F of C, so there must be, uh, there exists, I'm going to call it A1 in C, such that F of uh, A1 is equal to B. Right? And there exists uh, maybe A2 in D, such that um, f of uh, a2 is equal to b, right? Because b is in, in both, right? But uh, we can use the fan now. We have uh, a1 and a2. But uh, we notice that uh, if uh, a1 and a2 are equal to each other, so this means that, uh, you know, f of uh, a1 uh, is equal to f of a2, right? Then uh, since f, f is 1 to 1, this implies that uh, a1 must be equal to a2, right? Since f is 1 to 1, right? So which means that uh, we found that uh, since uh, a is um, uh, a1 equals a2, so those are actually the same element. So I'm going to just say, I'm going to kind of just call it uh, just a, right, which is same as a1 and a2. And remember that the a1 is in C and a2 is in D, so they are in the intersection of C and D, right, uh, such that uh, f of a is equal to B, right? So therefore, uh, we know that uh, here, so B, uh, so th therefore, right, B is going to be in, since A is in C intersect D, so F of C intersect D, right? So therefore, this established the containment, uh, F of C intersect the F of D, is contained in f of c intersect d. All right? All right, then we can combine these two uh, containment. We establish the uh, mutual containments. Therefore, these two sets are equal to each other. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.